Hello all. Um, this will be a bit breezy again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you something I regard as quite uh, unusual. And I just want to show you to see what you think of it. Okay. It's this um, tree. Now it's just been the top bit of it, it's just all gone for some reason. It hasn't been cut down or anything like that. So it's just like it's just sort of you know, just disappeared. <laughs> because if it was cut, it would have been a nice smooth cut at the top. But it hasn't really fallen over because I don't think the tree would fall over. You know, and leave all this stump. It would normally, if it was going to fall over, it'd fall over at the roots, and the whole thing would fall down and be uprooted. And that's a sizable tree. That's really quite a heavy, uh, a heavy weight trunk. It's not exactly a small tree. So why would it just sever at the top like that? Why would it just? Is that? I'll turn it around and I'll uh, show you a bit closer, uh, closer pictures of it. Videos. So it still looks pretty uh, solid. And I'm not a tree expert, but it looks it still looks fairly healthy. I mean, it's not like it's uh, that it was like rotten or anything. It seems to be uh, just totally severed at the top. I mean, why would they cut? I mean, they wouldn't have cut a tree down like that. It'd be a clean cut. And I can't imagine a thick, heavy trunk like that just snapping in two. You know, that's really a solid piece of tree. It's solid. So how on earth can it get like that? Where did all the rest of it go? This other tree here next to it has got all this uh, big branches snapped off. And this, it kind of feels sort of spongy like, you know. It's all sort of kind of spongy. But that's, as I say, that's a huge branch. Huge. It's just. Somehow it's just managed to snap off. Followed out for some reason. It's huge. And how's the rest of the tree not falling over? How's the other branches not snapped off? Why that one? And as I say, for this tree down here, I mean, why would it just kind of like? Why would it just snap off there, you know, and leave all this stump here? It's still solid. It's 
So I'm just on a farm or a field rather, not far from Dundee. Uh, it's just down from Tillybacher. So to say it just baffled me. I've never seen anything like it and I'm no tree expert, but I've never come across stuff like that. So I mean I don't get it as to why a big sizable branch like that would just suddenly snap off. As I say, it's kinda spongy the video on this branch you can see that but it's kinda it's kinda spongy. But on the other one the uh, big thick trunk down there that was solid and you can see it. It's not exactly a lightweight tree. So where did it go? I mean how does how did that happen? I've never seen if I've seen trees that have fallen over that they would have been uprooted. And that isn't uprooted. So uh, Now that's a clean cut. That is. Okay, so uh, I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. Uh, I've never seen anything like that before. Well, I mean, within the last couple of years, two or three years, I've been noticing really bizarre things. Certainly regarding trees, anyway. But prior to that, I've never come across anything like it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be taking my time out to actually look into it. I mean, I noticed it when I was just driving by a few days ago, uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I just happened to notice. I mean, I was amazed by what I saw, so I pulled in and had a look. Now, I wouldn't have done that unless it was something that would catch my attention. So, uh, I don't know what, what you make of it. Um be interesting just to know what's what's going on there okay so um what i'll do is i could see if i could uh rustle up something else to show you uh if you just stay tuned okay thanks for watching that bit
Okay, so as you have probably already gathered, I'm already in the Blair Gallery and in here already for an essential reason. So whilst in here, I'm going to show you what I find to be quite unusual. Now, this is not just in Blair Gallery where I've seen this. I've also saw this in other places around Dundee and it's to do with the Christmas decorations. Now, this is March and the decorations are still up. Now, the ones that are in Dundee, um, the lights were put on recently. I'll show you that video. I'll join it onto this layer. Um, so it's like, it's not just the area that's kind of like a commonable, commonable area or public area. It's also people that have it in their gardens uh, as well. So it seems to be some sort of trend to have decorations. It's uh, like a Christmas theme decorations, Christmas lights basically. Uh, and I find it quite odd because I've never, <laughs> I've never ever seen that before. Christmas decorations with the actual effort to switch the lights on during March. Um, the decorations in here in Blair Gallery, they're still up in full. Um, and I mean, they'd put them up before Christmas, so they could have taken them down quite easily. But they haven't. Uh, so I'll show you. So. As you can see, behind me, they've still got the decorations up. Now, I saw this when I was going through Cooperangus, that they don't have as much, but there's still decorations nonetheless. Um, it's all up the high street here as well, and they're in their fuel. So what I'll do is I'll turn this round and I'll show you them. So as I say, this is like March, right, and all these decorations are still up. So there you have it, that's the um, Christmas decorations. Um, what I'll do is I'll show you a clip, I'll join it onto the end of this, or some point during it anyway, because I'm not quite sure how I'm going to compile this video up yet. So, but the clip will show the Dundee uh, Christmas lights that I photographed and videoed just a couple of weeks, uh, not just a few days ago. I mean, this is like well into March and they were switched on, so um, so I think what I'll do is, don't get me wrong, I don't have a problem with Christmas decorations being up, they could be up all year for all I, for all I care, I don't, I don't really mind either way, but no, I'm just curious because as I say, I've uh, never seen it like this before, and it's not just here in Blair Gallery, it's, um, I know somebody that stays uh, in a town a small town in the um, up the north northern part of Scotland, and they said that there's a similar thing up there as well. So it's not just confined to Dundee or Blairgowrie or Cooper Angus. Um, and as I say, I've seen it at other uh, houses as well, but I, I'm not. I haven't photographed that. I'm not going to photograph or film anybody's house. I just photographed the ones that are in the the, the public uh, arena you know, the general public to see. Um, but I have noticed that the um, private houses have been doing this as well. And I'm so just curious. So, <laughs> just thought I'd add that on. Uh, as I say, I've, uh, I find it pretty bizarre anyway. If you know what, what any explanations for it, I mean, I, I don't keep up with the um, 
I don't really read the, the newspapers or listen to the news. Or, so I, I don't know if I'm missing something. <laughs> it's just some sort of new new trend. I don't know. Uh, you tell me. <laughs> I remember anybody else wants to know. But um, it's just pretty bizarre to me. Like as, yeah, I've never known that before. Right, uh, if I could come up, if I think of anything else to add to the video, anything else I find bizarre, I'll just stick it on for you. And you could watch it if you want. Okay, thanks for watching this part. I don't know what I'm gonna, how I'm going to compile this video, so <laughs> just take it as it comes, okay? So, but thanks for watching this part. Okay, thanks.